Welcome to XM Edge trick number 1118. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about modes. And we need to look through a column of text values and find the one that occurs most frequently. The mode is exactly that calculation. Which one occurs most frequently? Now, back in Excel Magic Trick 592, I did a formula on this. But our awesome online Excel teammate, Bill, and I can never pronounce his name, S-Z-Y-S-C, -S came up with a great formula solution that is much easier than the one I did. Now, let's talk about the mode. The mode function, and we will look at the mode and the mode dot mult, which is a multiple modes. These functions require numbers. You actually have to throw numbers into them, and they tell you which one occurs most frequently. So often, we already have our categories here. And so we have text. We can match it to text with count if function and count for each category. And I'm going to use the count ifs with an s. I like count ifs, sum ifs, average ifs, because the screen tips are easier to understand. We're going to take our whole criteria range. I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow, F4, comma, and then left arrow to get that relative cell reference. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So we can count and see, oh, the good category is the one that occurs most frequently. Therefore, it is the mode. However, what if you wanted a single cell formula to just look through here, skip over all of this, and just pull out the word, the one that occurs most frequently? Well, we're going to have to do some formula trickery here, because the mode can't do it directly. If there was some way we could take this text data and convert it to numbers, then we could use the mode. So the function we're going to use to convert these text items to numbers is the match function. Match function, we usually give it a lookup value. Say we gave it the word somewhat, and we tell it to look through this whole column. It would report the relative position, because somewhat is the fourth item in this list. But check this out. We're going to do what's called a function argument array operation. That argument is expecting a single value, but we're going to give it every single value. Control Shift down arrow, F4. Now. We type a comma, and then we're going to put for the lookup array the entire range again. Control Shift down arrow, F4. Comma, the match type, we have to put 0. Not only is it not sorted, but when there's duplicates, we only want to pick out the first occurrence. And 0 exact match will do that. Now, what is going on with this? What's happening here is this is a function argument array operation. That argument, lookup value, is usually expecting a single value. We just gave it a whole column of values. That means match will spit out a whole column of answers. Get it? Lookup value, it'll give me an answer for each item in this column. The relative positions. Let's highlight it and F9 to see what this evaluates to. That is beautiful. We have gone from text values to numbers. 1 means OK is in the first position. 2 means good is in the first position. And look at that. Because we did exact match 0, any times it finds another good, it's only going to report the first position. Now, two things about this. One is, now we have numbers. The mode will understand it. And later, when we get to looking it up, whichever one occurs most frequently, it will also tell us the position. Control Z. Now I'm going to wrap this in the mode function. Now there is mode. This is the old mode, which only finds if there's one mode or the first mode if there's multiple ones. Mode.single and mode.mult. They came in in 2010 Excel. Single is exactly like mode. I'm going to use mode just because it's easier. Later we'll look at this dot mult for multiple. All right, so mode around this. You're not going to believe this. When we highlight this in F9, it's now going to report the position of the one that occurs most frequently. Now we know it's good. Control Z, we can slap that answer into a lookup function. Index, the array will be the entire column. Control Shift down arrow, F4, comma. So these are the values we want to look up. 
and mode and match with this function argument array operation will return the relative position to row number. And you're not going to believe this. This does not require Control-Shift-Enter. That is a function argument array operation. Normally, we have to use Control-Shift-Enter. And I'm not even sure why the mode is, mode is doing it. In my book, Control-Shift-Enter, about array formulas, I talk about mode.mult and some of the other official array functions, they can, if you put them into other functions, it doesn't require Control-Shift-Enter. But this mode is not an array function. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I tried putting it all over the place, not next to the data set, because sometimes you'll get an answer due to implicit intersection. Usually when you put an array formula outside, meaning not next to the data set, it gives you a value error. But watch this, Enter. And it got it. And you can try this. Move this other places, and it's still working. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But boom, we got our answer. That is a beautiful formula. Here is a count if just to confirm that, in fact, it worked. So that is the amazing formula uh, that Bill gave us. Now let's look at a couple other examples. Sometimes you have mixed data, and then we want to see what to do when you have multiple modes. Actually, the formula for looking up the mode from mixed data is going to be exactly the same except for one twist. So there's our lookup values. Then I'm going to use mode. And inside of mode, I'm going to use match. And I'm going to highlight for the lookup value, F4, that same range, comma, same range again for lookup comma, 0, close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses. Now, let's check this out. If I were to go inside the mode, click on the number 1 and hit F9, there's an NA for that empty cell. That is going to cause a problem. If I hit Enter, it's just not going to work. So our goal is to dump this into the mode. But we have not only an NA, but we also have a number. So we want to do a test. We're going to use the if function to filter that resultant array. Control Z. What am I after? I'm after text. So watch this. I'm going to put if. And we're going to do a function argument array operation here on the logical test. And this formula will require Control Shift Enter. Because whether or not you have to use Control Shift Enter in array formulas is often determined by the actual function argument. And this one requires it no matter what. Now we need a logical test that can filter these match values. So we're going to use is text. The value, highlight every single value. Now we're going to get a true and false for each one of those data types. I'm going to hit F4, close parentheses. So the logical test has is text, comma. Those would be the values of true. But let's check this out. Right here, I'm going to click on logical test, F9. Notice true, false, false, true, true, true. So those two falses will filter out the empty cell and the 5, Control Z. And the match, of course will be the values that are getting filtered. Now I want to come to the end here to the match. And notice I should type a comma and put a false. But if you leave that argument out, meaning the value of false argument out, it'll just put falses in, which is exactly perfect. So I'm going to close parentheses. And now I want to go see what in the world if is text and match are delivering to the mode. F9. There we have it. The actual numbers that we want or the relative positions. And there are the two falses. The beautiful thing about many aggregate functions is they're programmed to ignore uh, logical values like true and false. So we'll ignore those. Control Z. Now, I, if I hit Enter here, it's going to give me an NA. If the formula was up here, you get a value error. That should have happened up here, but the mode was handling it pretty well. So no problem. F2, that means we have to tell Excel that we're doing an array formula by using Control, Shift, and Enter. Now, when you do Control, Shift, Enter, it's you telling Excel this is an array formula. When you come up to the formula bar, you can see those curly brackets. That's Excel telling you it understood. All right, so that seems to be working there. One last example. What if you had multiple modes? And we'll change the data later and check this out. Well, we can use the mode.mult for multiple. And we're going to do our same trick. We're going to put 
all of the match values into the lookup value, F4, comma, and then we're going to put it into the lookup array, F4, comma, 0, close parentheses, close parentheses. Now, the match inside of here, F9, bunch of numbers, but notice there's 1, 2, 3, 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4s, 1, 2, 3, 5. So it's a three-way tie for the ones that occur most frequently, those relative positions. So Control-Z, mo.mult, it just looks through and reports a unique list of the ones that occur most frequently. Now, as we copy our formula down, if we're trying to extract, since we have multiple items, we're going to have to do some lookup formula. We're going to need relative position 1, 4, and then 5 as we copy this down. Control Z. Actually, before we do that, let's count, because we're going to have a cell at the top that looks through here and tells us how many modes there are. We can use count. Count will count numbers. And again, this mode.mult will handle that array calculation, and so we'll count with simply enter. So we know there's three of them. Now, I don't think I copied this Control C because we're going to use this. I would like to extract as I copy down each one of those relative positions. I'm going to use the small function. Control V into that array. And now I want to copy as I go down the first, second, and third values that the mode.mult is reporting. All right, you ready? Control Enter, double click and send it down. So now it's got the relative positions. I can put it into index F2, index highlight all the values, F4, comma, and then the row number has that small extracting from the mode dot mult each new relative position as we copy the formula down. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now I'm going to use the if function to turn that off. So as we change this data, this will update and not show me errors. I'm going to say if this number of modes is greater than our count, F4, then that's the logical test. That's a single logical test, right? Then what do I want? Double quote, double quote. That's a null text string that will show nothing. Otherwise, run the formula. This will not require Control-Shift-Enter. That's a single true or false there, not an array. This uh, mode.mult holds that match. Simply Control-Enter. Double click and send it down. Now if I come over here and change this to something, now we have only two. Control Z. All right, that was a lot about extracting text values when you have modes. Here we had multiple modes. Here we had some mixed data, including empty cells. And we wanted text. And then this amazing formula from Bill that put the match inside of the mode. All right, we'll see you next trick.